Hello, Gemini. If you see smoke, don't worry, it's just my incense burning. It's time for your 2019 year reading. Congrats, you made it all the way. Most people cannot say the same. Oh, there's a little back and forth when it came to injustice, possibly with dealing with a Libra, maybe? Or someone dealing with the Libra energy? You guys both are pretty similar in a fashion. Ah. Ew, look at this. Possibly a Capricorn. Is someone in bondage would be in a nurturing mum like a Capricorn would be? This is like Capricorn's card, the nurturer, the provider, the person who doesn't complain when people don't do anything for them, but they'll do anything for anybody else, right? Might be a little bit of bondage with that, with the devil, too. Could have been dealing with that this year, but I think you guys are going to be getting over that a little bit. As you can see, you're going to be moving on to greater and better things now. So I'll lay out your stuff. Um, I won't be taking any personal readings until about the 13th. Of January. Sorry, I totally forgot what month that was next month. I don't know how. I'm born in it, for fuck's sakes. Um, after January 13th, I'll probably be open to give personal readings. Just don't get mad if I don't like hit you up like within two weeks because usually the longest I've gone is like maybe two weeks but that's only because I have so much shit to do and I'm also procrastinate a lot so much that I always have shit to do so just bear with me you know I just don't like being in a hurry because it just ruins everything that's okay looks like you guys are entering a new cycle after ending an old one perfectly flying colors right right this first card could be the King of Wands. Is the ending energy for 2018. That's how you're leaving, right? Ew. Looks like you got your rule. In this first quarter going into January, there might be some, um, you know, Impatience, maybe is some sort of compromising isn't happening, or maybe somebody doesn't want to compromise. In the second quarter, we have a feeling like. You want, you're out in the cold, but you want to come back in, right? Five of Pentacles reversed. Which is weird, because like, this is like a Leo Sagittarius or Aries card. Most likely Leo, because Leo is um the king, after all. He's got to be. Might be... Okay, first quarter, right? First quarter, we got like the Hermit reversed. Like someone's being very isolated in themselves, and they're restricting themselves a lot. With strength reverse. Could also be dealing with a Leo. Once again. It's a lot of double energy. I uh, don't know about that. Um, already three major arcana. So that's a very in vital. In, might be a very vital lesson coming up in the first quarter of the year. No. Like, because someone is not compromising and they're just isolating themselves. Doing a lot of restrictions. Um, not that that's a bad thing either, but I don't know if that's helpful. Like, that's the key thing. Is it helpful? Does it help? Because there's going to be a lesson in that. Someone feels like they're left out in the cold and they want to come back in. In the second quarter. Ugh. We got a little bit of the King of Cups energy. Ten of coins. Okay, so like this might be ending because like the five of pentacles also talks about um financial straits too, like but someone's still following the other to um wherever they go, whether it's destitution or not. There's still two people together. She's probably pissed at him because he's really dumb and limp and he isn't very helpful, but they're still together. Even in this cold weather. They might be left out in the cold, but they're still traveling together. Even if this one is, like, not even trying to pay attention to this one, he'll follow her because they're in it together. And here we have, like, the diviner, the sage, this king of cups, Scorpio, Pisces, cancer type. 
who's very much a diviner. He know he sees things. He understands intuition of people. He doesn't look very nice, but that's because he's always being intuitive and checking things out and noticing stuff, right? And there comes the completion of the Ten of Coin. Like, all of this comes with, like, some understanding, possibly, of emotions between two people or something, because there's two people here. And maybe one finally opens their eyes to the emotion, because over here, it's like the beginning, there's, like, restriction and keeping to yourself in not a cool way and not listening. And then over here, it's like, these two people are still in it together, despite all the odds, and someone sees it. And then it, it, it kind of makes that fullness, that coin discovery, right? Like, this is really nice. I like your guys' reading so far for 2019. Like, this looks really good so far in the second quarter. The third quarter has options. This could also be emotional confusion, too. Because look at all these options, and some of them don't look like they're cool. Some of them, you, you don't know who it is. It's a surprise. Some of it's ice cream that doesn't melt, and that should make you curious. And then there's an, an invisible lady's head. I don't know why. Let's see. We got a little bit of hidden knowledge. And the last card with this is you'd be giving up something. Like, yeah, maybe there is emotional confusion in this, like I was suggesting, because like, this is like a lack of knowledge to me with the Eight of Coin like this. Like, knowledge, insight, but it's reversed. So it's like maybe there's something hidden that you don't realize yet, and maybe that's why you're a little bit confused about it. It could even be this person right here. And now you feel like you just need to give up because, um... Hmm. Or you feel like there's no reason to endure anymore because you don't have what you need in order to make some sort of insight known to you, some kind of knowledge to become known to you. Like There's things that you want to know because it's messing with your heart a little bit, or it's getting in your feels a tad too. And it's annoying as hell, because it's just like, why are you doing this to me? Please stop. <laughs> like, this is way too dramatic, right? And over here with this love situation, two of cups for the fourth quarter of the year we have the three of wands which is like ingenious savvy like someone's energy to move with like a fox's cleverness and slyness but it's like someone is i feel like someone's not doing that and if they are it's it's because it's not working for them right now or for him in period, or it's just not helpful at all, you know? And here's the chariot, possibly a cancer entity, channel. Someone is very much getting in tune with this. Someone's coming to an understanding that, that, like, that I think that for this relationship to work, they need to stop doing this. And then they'll be going in and, like, really getting into themselves. I think someone's really trying to get in touch with themselves. Possibly in order to stop this kind of stuff from happening. Maybe the sneaky nature somewhere. If there is sneaky nature, but I don't think that there is. I don't think it's sneaky as much as it is like someone just, you know, fuck it all. Because there looks like there was a good chance of somebody just wanting to walk away after all of this shit goes down. Right? And that could stem from, I feel like, 2018. Like, something throughout, like, that year was just like, it wasn't... As bad as 2017, I feel like, but it was still just like, could you like give me a freaking break with all this? Please. <clears throat> but yeah, what are the lessons to be learned from all of these quarters? Oh, wait, hold on. I need to figure out what how you're going into 2019. It's important. How is your energy going to be? Oh! Jesus Christ, Gemini. It's only trapped and confined. Like, there's nowhere else to go. Like, you're stuck in somewhere. Because, you know, it's all in your head. You don't have to stick around if you don't want to. You know this. I don't know why you feel like you're stuck, though. I mean, like, if you've been there and you keep staying there, you're not really trapped as much as you are, like, forcing yourself to be stuck in something. Yeah. 
Because, like, sometimes the Eight of Swords is of our own making, right? But that's neither here nor there. And sometimes, but just keep in mind that, like, this is all mental. And it could even be communication wise if you feel like you're trapped. This is, could all potentially be in your head. Like, are you actually trapped or do you feel trapped because, you know, you put a certain obligation on yourself that, like, no one else has done for you? Because that, because that, because what, else, like, dude, what, what other people say and think about you is none of your business. It doesn't matter. Like, your reputation isn't based on what they say or think about you, whoever it could be, I just feel like. It's based on what you do with yourself. That is important. That is the most important aspect because, you know, none of these people, if there are people coming against you or if there's a mentality that's keeping you trapped, none of that matters if you just let it the fuck go, right? I mean, like, there could be an argument to be made, but what's the argument that, like, these people matter? Or the situation matters? Or that the situation would be drastically horrible if anything changed? I mean, like, look, there are ways to create preventions. You just need to, like... I don't know, I just, I just feel like feeling anybody... I just feel like someone really feels like they're stuck in something. And, like, they just feel like there's nothing they can do. Like, I don't know, like, their happiness almost doesn't matter. And that's not true. You shouldn't dictate your happiness and how other people respond to you. That's not love. You know, that's a f like a fear of abandonment, almost. Because that's almost, like, that's what I feel like this is saying to me. It's almost like you went in feeling like you were stuck in something. But as the year goes on, it's very obvious that, like, all of that changes, too. So I think you do get that, because that's what it feels like. This is how you're going in, and then it progressively moves to, like, things changing okay that was a long window right first quarter your lesson is move the fuck on <laughs> um things are going forward whether you're ready for them or not right um we three of cups as the lesson for the second quarter right like with the first quarter i feel like it's saying that like everything's going to be moving on and it's going to be for the better like this is definitely um this is like Sagittarian energy, and Sag and like Sagittarius is under the sign of Jupiter, which is like lucky as shit, right? Because things could totally be worse. But because you're Sag, you got that luck on your side, and I feel like there's gonna be some good luck coming on. Like maybe there is like still this lingering from 2018, because you are coming in as feeling trapped or confined. The wheels could be moving forward and taking you out of that. Like the devil's gonna be on the bottom, and you got this dude with the sword on top, and. I don't know what the rest of it is, but it's groovy, man. Like, everything's going to be moving forward the way you want. And I feel like once that you accomplish this, um, if somebody can accomplish looking at the situation for how it is and realizing that this person behind you is sticking with you, or even vice versa, maybe you're sticking with them, that, um, this will bring a lot of closure to things I think someone needs to open their eyes to the emotion that's being put out and how they actually feel and this will definitely bring some completion and definitely make a treasure in it all and then people will be celebrating that's the lesson like count your blessings here's your joy you have somebody that is the greatest treasure of them all this can even be a little family too or just relatives, or just friends mingling, celebrations, right? Not necessarily third party. I don't feel like anyone's like being a hoe, you know. I think this is actually like good times. Like we have everything we need. Someone realizes right here. We don't need anything else. This is like the best that life's going to give us, because you know, like that. And like I feel like yeah, because it's like someone feels trapped, and I think it's because. Maybe they've just been in the same stint for so long that they just wanted to get away. But it's like, nah, I just need to learn to enjoy and like what I like, right? For this third quarter, the lesson there is that, like, you know, mmm. Yeah, nothing works if you don't communicate. That actually makes a lot of sense. You are trapped with the Eight of Swords. But that makes a lot of sense considering, like, 
you know, the star there should be healing and there should be some communication because it's Aquarius's card. It literally looks like them, but it's like no one's communicating. So there's this confusion and keeping your guard up and not really understanding what's going on. Like that's the lesson for the third quarter is that communication really doesn't help anything. Because <laughs> it just leaves you confused and that doesn't help. Fourth quarter comes to four of swords reversed. What kind of fucking lesson is that? Maybe you know you can't take a break in this situation. There's no breaks to be given. If you want something, you want something. You know. But it's like not taking your time to take a break, too. Like, are you actively working to better the situation, I wonder, Gemini? You possibly are, because guys are really good at that. But I don't want you guys overworking yourself, either. How are you going to end the year with the final card? Uh, I don't think. Oh, okay. I don't think you're fighting. I, 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 don't, I don't. I think it's the alternate meaning, which is like, you know, the fighting's coming to an end. I don't think you're actually in a fight anymore. I, I, I don't get that at all. I think you're actually come to a point where, like, you realize that, um... This was all, all of this came from nothing. Like, you had to go through all of this to realize, huh, maybe this all was just slightly in my head and I spent too much time in my head instead of just living, right? And I think that helps you realize that this isn't working for you and there's no reason to do this anymore. And that's how you're gonna end out 2019. So that's it, Gemini, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.